Do you have a public or personal relationship with Jesus? Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Josh. Welcome to Honestly Radio. A common trope on the internet is helping homeless people while shoving a camera in their face. Sometimes, sadly, it's just a setup, a bit of theater to get more views on YouTube. At the least, you may question their motives. And additionally, you may question their character. Are they actually a good person or just pretending to get more likes on social media? The same scrutiny can be applied to Christians, but the consequences go much deeper to an actual spiritual level. Jesus is not concerned with our outward appearance, the part we might play to get others to like us. His concern is our heart, the inside of our soul. When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the church or synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. Jesus warns us that the intention of the heart and the focus of our soul matters. Prayer is an opportunity to grow in relationship to God. Christ is meant to be our focus. When we attempt to divert the glory away from God and towards ourselves, it produces a hollow, empty shell of a Christian. Jesus says people who do this are like actors wearing a mask. They may look holy to a few on the outside, but they have deceived themselves and robbed themselves of a deep, authentic faith. They trade an eternal reward and recognition of God the Father for the temporary applause of a few people. Great men and women of faith are not built on a stage. They are developed in the quiet moments of prayer and time spent alone in God's Word. But when you pray, go away by yourself. Shut the door behind you and pray to your Father in private. Then your Father, who sees everything, will reward you. Matthew 6.6 6. It's in our best interest to listen to the words of Jesus. No one knows God better than himself. Recognition is nice, but it doesn't even compare to a relationship with Christ. One is good for a moment. The other will sustain you for all eternity. I pray you embrace God's word. Thanks for joining us on Honestly Radio. Embrace Jesus Christ. Embrace True Purpose.